locked. There's gotta be another way to get through here. around ground zero. Roger. Gotta be another way to get through here. Jesus! Close one. HQ, we just heard an explosion near the harvesting perimeter. Yeah, take a wild guess who that could have been. Charlie, get off the line. Striker team, take defensive positions around ground zero. Roger. I recognized Will's workshop as soon as I saw the old billboard on top. The area we refer to as Ground Zero. It was clear that the workshop was at the center of the Monarch operation. I wanted to see in there. And it seemed to be the only way to the dry docks to answer it.
signs of an incoming stutter. Safeguard, I want Joyce contained before that stutter hits. stutters. You knew the fracture would occur. Prepared for it. Oh, shit. And he never tried to stop it. Ground Zero? No, never. 
He hid that part of his life from me. Nothing prepared me for the weirdness that was waiting there. And even that was just a prelude to the bad stuff that would follow in that same place later. It's the only way forward. Absolutely no entry. Well, I'm pretty sure that's more of a guideline than a rule. What the hell? What is this? What is this? this? That already happened. What the fuck? I specifically requested copper clad Niobium. Well. no words to describe. Will was gone, but he was all around me. This entire secret life he'd never talked about, everything he tried to protect me from, it surrounded me. A puzzle, trapped in broken time. We all thought he wasted his research grant, his career, obsessing over some failed experiment. That's what he led us to believe. What he built there, it never failed. It works. It works. Need my Need grant my extended grant another year. year. Please, Please, don't do don't this. Do this. I knew something went horribly wrong there, but it was scrambled. It's impossible to crack. overwhelming. Every unanswered question I had was compounded by what I'd seen at that workshop. The events at the university were part of something much bigger. Something that had started 17 years ago. 
Okay, dry dock. Get to the dry dock. I'm almost there. Gotta get to Paul. There's something wrong with Paul. Cronon syndrome. He'd had his powers much longer than me. But what was the cause? Was I sick as well, or was it his time travel? I didn't know. It didn't make anything he'd done any less hateful. Yeah. Jack, you have to understand that Will forced my hand. What the hell happened to you? There's no use fighting. You killed him! I'll explain when the time is right. You'll meet me tonight at the Monarch Gala. Gala? Time's ending and you're having a fucking party. Because when time ends, my plan... We do this now. I'm not meeting yes, you at... Yes, you are. I've already seen it happen. Seen what? What's this all for? Goodbye, Jack. No!
stutters were getting bad. Me shifting back and forth without warning. At the time, I didn't think it could get much worse. But we both know it did. like a goddamn maze in here.
Beth had been on her way to meet me. I expected she was frozen somewhere up there, by the side of the dry dock. Shoot me. Look, I'm sorry, but I'm taking the van. That's for not listening to me back there. Ow. You want to stop time from breaking down? You need my help. And thanks, by the way, for the plus one in the back seat. I'm starting to feel like goddamn babysitter. Babysitter? Are you kidding me? I got good intel off that computer. Bitch. I ride my music. Deal with it. Who the fuck are you people? What led you to the swimming hall? Oh, Will said there was something important in this briefcase. All I found was a key with Bradbury Swimming Hall on the chain. Only lead we had. I guess this is it. This building's been shut down for years. Perfect place to hide something you don't want found. I think it's time you tell me what you know. I know your brother built the one thing that can stop the fracture. I know we're meant to find it, and I know Monarch doesn't want us to. And yet you're wearing their uniform. I like the way their pants fit. Yeah, I bet you like the paycheck too. Try to create a cover to gather information. You've known about this for a few hours. I've been preparing for it for most of my life. You weren't aware that William owned the place? There's a lot I didn't know about Will. We need to find your brother's countermeasure. And fast. Things will get worse as the fracture progresses. And Monarch will be turning Riverport over looking for you. Jack, you coming or what? I ordered Martin Hatch to execute his PR campaign. The university mission was a success, but at a great cost. I can't afford unwanted attention. Not yet. We need to cover our tracks. Shift the blame. Jack's transport never arrived at the Ground Zero operation. Martin wants to use the media as a tool to find him. Turn the city against him. I know where I'll see him again. The visions have made that clear. Seeing Jack at the university, it awakened something in me. An admonition of what was coming. A reminder of how it all started. Who I once was. Seventeen years ago, I performed a test that caused a fracture in time. I was to blame. I came to terms with that very quickly. It took far longer to accept that there was nothing I could do to stop it. I built Monarch from the shadows. Waited 17 years for that moment to arrive again. Thought I was ready. This was my greatest struggle to date. 
feeling the moment approaching, simply allowing such a tragedy to occur, knowing any action I would take to prevent it would simply make it so. And now it's here. We are the only ones prepared for what comes next. My plan was in motion. The time for hiding is over. How close were you with Serene before the experiment? He'd been looking out for me ever since we were kids. When my parents passed away, Paul's family made sure I got back on my feet. You know, Will wasn't around much. I never did have a tendency to make things easy for myself. <laughs> Guess I dragged Paul into my mess. We spent a lot of time looking for trouble. We found it. He got out, I didn't. You said you owed him one. Jack, that key you got from Will's briefcase. The key doesn't fit. Okay, I'm gonna find another way in. Make it quick. I'll keep a lookout for unwanted company. Yes, Amy? What is it? <coughs> there were others taken from the university. Friends of mine. What happened to them? Should be released by now. Monarch convinced them the same thing they convinced everybody else. That what hey, Monarch did at the university I think I found a way in. To protect them from... From Jack. Yeah. I'm guessing your little video on the news helped with that. No offense. Jesus. They have no idea what happened. Stutters aren't going away. Maybe you just want to see you buried. <clears throat> Will had used the building to hide away his personal items. What the hell were you doing here, brother? Time travel experiments with rats?
Okay, May 17th, 1998. This is William Joyce, and I'm about to conduct the first animal test of the machine prototype using my trusty pet $12,000 mover bill. He's gone. Must have hauled a lot more to this place than just some old boxes. Come on, Schrodinger. Come to Willie. You owned this place since 1999? Why didn't you tell me, Will? Okay, finally, we're sending Schrodinger. No wonder you are always coming up with crazy shit. Through the corridor, which will send him five minutes into the future, meaning he will reemerge exactly five minutes after he enters the machine. It has now been three minutes. No sign of Schrodinger. This is a very good sign. Two minutes to go. Okay, so yeah, turns out he just kind of sat inside the corridor for. Five minutes took a shit on the tubing. This reveals a very clear flaw in my test. My mouse is an idiot. Working on it. Hey, Jack, you gonna unlock this door for us? Yeah, just hold on. All right, let's take a look around. Down here. Nice work. This note, it's directed at me. July 4th, 2010. Well. Beth Wilder, I'm addressing this video to you. You told me to stay away from my workshop, but I couldn't just leave it there. I went back to get it. The entire place is a disaster zone. The countermeasure gone, taken. Shit. What the? Safe, empty. I just need to know you have it. Because if it falls into the wrong hands, its power is immeasurable. Our future, our entire lives depend on it. This can't all be for nothing. You know where to find me. Please, hurry. 2010. Holy shit. What was that? He recorded that for me in 2010? What the fuck? He said the countermeasure's gone? It's not good. We need to figure this out. Let's keep looking. Help me push this out of the way. <clears throat> Jack, your brother addressed that video to me, but, <clears throat> but I've never met him before in my life. Well, it sounded like he thought you had his countermeasure. I wish, but he said it was stolen on July 4th, 2010. Somebody took it. I'm hoping this place will help us figure out who. I'll give you the honor of pressing the button. Hey. Is that? Yeah, I think so. The second time machine. This changes everything. If we can get this thing working, then we don't need that countermeasure. We can change everything. What if we stop the fracture from ever happening in the first place? We can go back to yesterday, undo everything in the past before it happens. Nobody dies. Paul doesn't go through the machine. Monarch never exists. I mean, the fracture never occurs. Jack, wait. Let's think this through. 
That's not how it... I can go into the machine like Paul did at the university. I helped them set it up. Then we activate the core, put the corridor in place, and set the date. I can do it, Beth. I'm not so sure we can do this without the countermeasure. But you're right. We'll need the machine. Right. Let's start with the core. Um... Explanation? Anybody? I saw some kind of visions of this machine in his workshop. He must have hid it here. Feel free to fill me in. Anytime now. Okay, core controls. Where are they? Will received a massive research grant in 1997. He'd successfully built the time machine by 1999. But the results scared him. He never told a soul. It says the time machine core needs to be reset. Great. What the hell's it look like? A round thing in the middle. I can't activate the core till it's reset. Need to find a way to reset the core first. Hey, it looks like I can reset the core from here. No clue. But I, I did help Paul set up the machine at the university. Which then caused the fracture. Look, Will knew the calculations were wrong. Hoping that means he knew what he was doing here. This is what Will was leading us to. We have to test it. The core. That's what we set up first. This could actually be the key to finding the countermeasure. We'll see. It's still resetting. The core is reset. We need to activate it from the control booth. The controls are up here according to the monitor. You said Will built a countermeasure. What makes you so sure this isn't it? The time machine. Here goes nothing. corridor next okay there is no way that thing should be exposed like that <sighs> the corridor it's key activated will's key Hope it still works. No, 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 
no, no, no. What? God damn it. I don't know. We were so close. I'm gonna try it again. Yeah, like hell you are. You saw what happened. Something's wrong with the machine. But we don't know that. You're not trained for this. Anything you do is gonna make it worse. We you can't know I'm right. Stop trying. You lost people. You're angry. I get it. But this is bigger than us. We can't fix the machine. But I might know somebody who can. Sophia Amaral. The monarch scientist. I saw her video in your ground zero. Serene's head of Cronin Research. She'll be at the Monarch Gala tonight, but security's airtight. She'll be nearly impossible to get to. Unless I have an invite. Paul told me he expected me to meet him at that party. Something tells me that was not a friendly invitation. Jack, no. 